Welcome to another Story Saturday on 1111. Today we're going to talk about the best fictional relationship you will ever find. There are tons of solid friendships in beloved movies and shows. The first one that comes to mind for me will always be Frodo and Sam from Lord of the Rings. In film, there are also Han and Chewie, Thelma and Louise, Maverick and Goose, Bill and Ted. In TV, you have Ab Fab's Eddie and Patsy, Ethel and Lucy, J.D. and Christopher from Scrubs, Fred and Barney, the girls from Sex and the City, Will and Grace, Joey and Chandler, Laverne and Shirley. The list goes on and on and on. But for me, the top slot can go to only one pair. Sean and Gus of the Psych franchise that started out with a show that ran eight years and then spawned six books, three movies with one in the offing, and a podcast. The title of the show is a play on words that refers to the fact that the main character, Sean Spencer, played by James Roday, is psyching everyone out by pretending to be a psychic, when really he just has highly trained observational skills that enable him to solve crimes. His best friend, Gus, played by Dulé Hill, works as a pharmaceutical sales rep who gets dragged into Sean's deception and ultimately starts a detective agency with him. Here are just a few of the reasons they are my poster boys for friendship. Loyalty and unwavering support. No matter how crazy Sean's psychic detective antics get, Gus is there for him. Likewise, Sean always has Gus's back, even when Gus gets nervous or scared which is often. Reason number two, balance and understanding. Sean is impulsive and goofy, while Gus is more cautious and grounded. These opposite personalities balance each other out, creating a dynamic partnership. They understand and accept each other's quirks. Reason three, mutual respect and trust. Despite their differences, they value each other's opinions and ideas. Sean respects Gus's level-headedness, and Gus trusts Sean's reasoned-out hunches. And the final reason? Unconditional love and acceptance. They playfully tease each other, but always remain in each other's corner. They don't try to change each other, and they both find humor and true joy in their unique relationship. Having grown up together, they behave like brothers who are best friends. They share inside jokes, memories, and a deep understanding of each other's past and what makes them tick. Your tiny task today is to write down all the things you value most in your best friend. Then send them the list. If they ask what the heck the list is for, tell them it was a task assigned to you and direct them to hold on to the list for a rainy day when they could use some extra love and encouragement. Psych doesn't shy away from showing the friends occasional disagreements or frustrations, but through it all, their core friendship remains strong, making them a relatable and heartwarming example of what a perfect friendship can be. And for those who, like me, are a huge fan of the duo, all I can say is, I know, you know. Chitty stay some friends. Tuta.